So uh, unlike many of you here, I am not technology savvy person. However, I'm just very practical person. So today I simply would like to share uh, one of the features I found very useful and practical. That is Canvas modules. Okay, so builders oftentimes say, don't even try to build a house without blueprints. Okay, so blueprints, uh, the general definition of it is a set of construction or working drawings that define all the construction specs of a uh, residential house, such as dimensions, materials, layouts, installation method, and techniques. Okay? So in the same context, uh, I think teaching and learning modules means detailed lesson plans that presents assessment, assignments, projects, or uh, homework, learning activities, presentations, resources, even timeline, and expected or final outcomes. So basically, you can put every ingredient into these Canvas modules about your course. Therefore, I think Canvas modules really function as blueprints of your course curriculum. So as you see here, you can organize your materials by uh, the each, uh, each category, so even resources, you can put all course resources here. And uh, this is the big categories. You can organize your course content by unit and time or both. So each uh, big categories can have more detailed ingredients. So you can put, as I said here, uh, assignment, like presentations or test quizzes and everything. So again, why do I use Canvas modules? I said it's easy to use and it's a clear communication tool. Communication tool between me and my students and my colleagues and my teaching fellows. Especially for uh, multi-section and uh, team teaching setting. Also, this is great tool for course organized. So I'm a uh, course head and coordinator of the program. So through these Canvas modules, I can really keep curricular consistency and pedagogical alignment. And also a great tool for teach, uh, training my TFs. And oftentimes they call, what do I teach? And how do I teach? And I uh, clearly uh, direct them to these Canvas modules. So through these Canvas modules, again, I can keep my course very uh, transparent to my students and colleagues and teaching fellows. So after all, these Canvas uh, the modules can function as your course portfolio. So these are the frequent asked questions I get. I'm sure you guys get uh, these kind of questions from your st students or teaching fellows or colleagues. So uh, where should I upload my assignments? Students still ask the questions. Surprisingly, some of the students don't even read the course syllabus until the end of the semester. And what should I cover next week in section X? TFs can ask these questions. And then what do you teach in this course? Well, oftentimes it's, uh, your colleagues ask you, but you can answer by saying, I teach very well and I do a lot of different stuff in my class. So it's just simply uh, visualize what you do with your students in the course through Canvas modules. And the, these questions go on and on and on. So now you know my answer is, you can answer for me through Canvas. Modules, that is correct, yes. So this is a great tool and very easy to uh, utilize. So please use them as much as possible. And I get great uh, support from Christine and uh, Timberly and all Canvas uh, colleagues. That's it. <laughs> to Oli. Yeah, questions. How many of you use Canvas modules? Huh. See? <laughs> we 
you can add some anecdote occur. Yeah. Do your students ever, at like the beginning of the term or even throughout the term, forget that you're using the modules? I know this is something that I struggle with. Like, I have to tell my students repeatedly over and over again. Oh, where is this resource? It's in the modules. Yeah. Go and look in the modules. Yes. How do you combat that? So beginning of the semester, I clearly say everything is in the modules. And then I uh, enforce them, you know, every day, did you check campus modules? And then uh, first week or so, they all get settled. Yeah. in the uh, module, but if you, thank you. Uh, if you sign, like for example, for mine, I organize everything by chapter. So they will look for that particular item in modules in that chapter, but otherwise you're right. I mean, I can't keep my quizzes in quizzes because nobody will find them or else they will take the wrong one, of course. We know that problem. But the linear organization, be it by week, I highly recommend organizing either on calendar basis, like how your syllabus runs, week one, week two, or in our case, it's by chapter, so. Yeah. Uh, well, another option is to use pages. And on the first page, you will just have a link to the right modules. And that, that way, they won't mm -hmm. be confused. Any other questions or comments? All right. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much.